Shalom. Welcome to the Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Dummer, together with my co-host Mark Ronich of Statewide Services and jbizdegbelly.com. <laughs> Mark, who do we have with us today? Uh, well, we have an elected official with us today right. who has also been a friend of mine since the late 70s, early 80s. His name's Gary Hughes. Gary worked at WROW Radio when they did news <laughs> way back in the day. Mother of the music. And now he's a majority leader of the Schenectady County Legislature, and he's the vice president of communications at the Business Council of New York State, the largest lobbying group for businesses in New York State. So uh, welcome to the Jewish View, Gary. Nice to be here, Mark. It's so good, good to, to see, see you, you again. again, too. <laughs> and we haven't aged a day. No, no, no we look much not. the same as we did That's right. in 1980. <laughs> we certainly do. So... Um, how, how do you tie in, your, your ch as chairman of the uh, Schenectady County Legislature? Majority you, leader. Majority leader. You Which, also yeah. chair the Committee on Economic Development and Planning. That's correct. So being with the Business Council and then Economic Development with the County Legislature, you know, that's, you know, you're, you're sort of this business head, I guess, uh, all the time. They're always... Well, it's a space that um, I've occupied for a, a good part of my career, actually. Um, I've always uh, been in the private sector a number of years. Uh, I was uh, director of communications at MVP Healthcare. So mm -hmm. the, the kind of the crossroads of business and the economy uh, with um, politics and community services, just sort of a, a you know an intersection that I've, uh, I've I've been in for quite a while. And you have your own business, which is doing voiceovers. I do a bit. Of, I do a bit of that from time to time. Once you're, uh, you know, they, they always say that uh, once you've been in radio, you're in recovery from it every day. <laughs> That's so right. I continue to recover. <laughs> would be voice. From that. Um, we, well, he might do political commercials. He might be the voice I've, you hear on political. I've done commercials. an occasional one of those. I've done uh, some work with not for profits. Mm -hmm. um, it's 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 just you know, sort of a creative it's release. It's interesting though that uh, you know see many uh, politicians they're coming from the communications and we say I mean maybe I mean even just saying President Ronald Reagan was a movie star mm -hmm. someone who can you know. <laughs> I mean, communicate with people. I don't think a know. Democrat from Schenectady is someone who yeah. wants to be compared with a Republican from California. Well, <laughs> though he had quite a history of as a Democrat in the city of Schenectady. Yeah. Who Ronald Reagan? Absolutely. Oh, please tell through us. His, yeah, I never uh, heard through that. all his uh, his initial transition from acting into uh, public affairs came when he went to work for the General Electric Company and for a number of years was their spokesperson. And, and he worked uh, in Schenectady? No, but he oh. would attend, at that point, the corporate headquarters, the corporate flag was in Schenectady, right. and he would attend the shareholders' meetings and mm. give speeches around the country. Uh, and that really is, uh, was sort of the, where the germ of his, uh, the seed of his political career. Well, wow. uh, really, there, so. he was in radio, wasn't he, even before he was an actor? Sports. Sportscaster. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so I'm saying, well, I guess communication is important mm -hmm. for a politician. You have to communicate. I think so, and um, my I got into broadcasting via um, an interest in the news, mm -hmm. and um, majored in in political science and actually speech and theater because they didn't have communications degrees, as you know, Mark, back mm -hmm. in the, back in the day, and um, so that interest was always there, and the interest in um, you know, uh, holding local public office was always there. Really? Uh, and it just uh, eventually came to pass that it was uh, um, time to not be in, in broadcasting anymore. I was getting a little tired of, uh, uh, at the time I used to refer to it as sort of being a bystander at the uh, Banquet of Life. You can watch it, but you can't really participate in it uh, because you need to keep that objectivity. And so when the opportunity came along to kind of root ourselves here in the Capital District a little bit, uh, uh, I made the little sidestep into public relations, public affairs, and that led to political work for candidates I liked, and that led to the occasional phone call, you know, have you ever thought about running? And I would say absolutely <laughs> not. Um, and then eventually, would you ever consider running for county legislature? And I said, well, let me think about that one. So do you have uh, problems with fundraising or you don't, do you just put your own money into your campaigns? I mean, because you run like as a block of, like in your district in Schenectady, there's like three or four people 
in that, that run that, that district wide. You the know? way uh, <coughs> Schenectady County is apportioned at the county level, we have what are called multi-member districts. There are right. four of them. Um, and the way that we maintain uh, one man, one vote is uh, pri primarily by the numbers of members in, in the district. And then there's also a, a small amount of weighting that mm -hmm. goes on. I, uh, I have a, a vote that is slightly heavier than one. It's like 1.0. Okay. seven, two, or something like that. Uh -huh. um, the question about fundraising, um, I think at the local level in, in those sorts of races, um, I, I, I put in some money myself. Uh, people that I know uh, mm -hmm. contribute to campaigns. Um, so do you have a Friends of Gary Hughes account? I do, I do. So how much does it cost you to run a race uh, for county legislature? Approximately. I'm not going to hold you to an exact number, but... Um, is it in the thousands? It is. It Four, is. Or five thousand, or somewhere between five and ten, probably five and ten. To somewhere run in a that good range. race with lawn signs and yeah, the, and, uh, and a good aggressive campaign is somewhere. What in is that really range. the maybe you can say the climate? That give us the overall idea of what's happening in Schenectady County. Is it going up? Things are better. Again, Mark Lake says we have a lot of politicians and a lot of people. We had, you know, the head of Proctor's mm -hmm. here. So when he said that was. Uh, boosting the downtown revitalization program. Mm -hmm. But just in general, how is things, you know, Well, it, it tracks, um, Schenectady uh, tracks, I think, my interest in politics. Um, it, it had gotten uh, about as bad as a community could get in terms of lack of local leadership, lack of direction. Um, You're looking at 2002, 2003 now. The city had a $10 million deficit, which for a city the size of Schenectady is pretty substantial. Who was mayor then? Um, the person who wasn't mayor when I got elected. No, it was, a, uh, was it's it? actually a very good friend of mine, and I don't lay it at his feet, but it was a... Frank Dusky? Uh, it was uh, Al Jasinski. Al Jasinski, okay. Um, so it was the situation was not all, all of Al's making, right, but right. there was just... There just was just poor. No, he seemed to, to try to turn it around in terms of bringing the Guyanese, yep. Yep. you know, going to Guyana and bringing them in and bring and yep. having a whole new population, ethnic group, coming into the city. So, and I don't, I you know, I, I don't want to make this partisan thing. No, exactly. It's, it's, no, no, you know, we're not even talking but, about uh, that. Not at all. Uh, you know, I, I finally said to myself, you know, I could do this as well as some of these people that are. And, and possibly better. Mm. So when, and uh, that when, that triggered my interest. And and then, yeah. as I say, when I got that particular call, I said, "Okay, let's talk." And uh, we were successful. Uh, Democrats were successful at the county level, successful at the city level that year. Uh, and to me, that uh, made a tremendous amount of difference because for the first time in probably uh, 20, 25 years, uh, you had you could have a unified agenda. You know, the city and the county were pretty much on the same page in terms of trying to. Uh, we were doing shared services before the state was telling us, "Boy, you really need to do shared services." Um, we were, you know, working in it. Uh, there was a great deal of economic development across purposes uh, in Schenectady at that time. Um, we were able to uh, unify that. We were able to bring in um, in in Ray Gill and a really talented. Really, one of the top yeah. economic developers in, in the nation, honestly. Yeah, to head up Metroplex. Recruited him from the state. To head up Metroplex. Uh, to right? head to to both be chair, uh, commissioner of economic development and planning, and to um, also be the chairman of Metroplex. Yeah, right. Um, head of Metroplex. And while we're on the subject, uh, take absolutely no credit for the creation of Metroplex, which was very much a creature of Republicans and Democrats working yeah. together. Uh, I think our contribution was to provide it the leadership it needed and to get it working. Okay. Um, and that has made a tremendous amount of difference. What's the uh, budget for Schenectady County? Our budget's about three hundred and five million dollars. Was two ninety seven last year, and the proposal that's uh, before us now that we will mm -hmm. vote on next week is three hundred and seven. So it's going down. No, you two, said 297 to 307. No, you said 309. 
No, was it 309 down to 307? Or? It was 297, 297 million last year. Right. It's about oh. 307 it's million. It's going to be a balanced budget okay. for the most part. Uh, it's <coughs> balanced, and it's, uh, there's a, uh, uh, an increase in the tax levy that's under the cap. It's 1.9%, mm. something under. like that. Well, yeah. our cap is actually a little more than 2%, but okay. you know how those work. I mean, it's. it's 2% with some adjustment for inflation. So how much do the folks at Business Council consult with you, even though it's out of your job <laughs> description and job title, to ask you, you know, when they want to lobby or they want to make a point at the Capitol, that they ask you from a government standpoint, you know, if this is a wise move or if, if you could refine it or tweak it or well at the business council we really listen to our members and what uh, you and know what, what they they're want. what they want um, I think the value that I bring to the business council is is much more on the communication side of my right. professional skill set but that's certainly the government is there the politics is right. there and and uh, you know that's that's just part of the part of the part of the mix but uh, but it's out of your job description that's why I'm yeah. asking you how much of that do they really they don't Council, not, not no, much. Not at all. Not much. Really, yeah, they, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm because there you to, could be uh, a real value in terms of your opinion, but you don't ask unless you're asked. No, uh, you know, it's, it's. I it's, speak when I'm spoken to. No, <laughs> it's not. It's not as. It's it's truly not as formal as that. It's just we have some extraordinarily skilled, knowledgeable. Yes. Uh, you lobbyists do. You at do. the business council. I, I know and them. They and, they yeah. they know what they're doing. Yes, um, uh, no I help doubt. a lot with I help a lot with shaping message and okay, and I, I, that's which is what I do <laughs> yeah, in so. both government and your yeah. paying job. Yeah, absolutely. How much do you get paid as majority leader? Um, the majority leader makes five hundred dollars a year more than than our members, so that puts me at about fourteen thousand dollars. Okay. So it's it's well, if you really figure the cost minimal. of the campaign and then you look at the salary, no one does this for the money. No, that well, you know, that's why it's people not people do full -time. this because you think that's job, fair. Yeah. I mean, we have many again, so many elected officials, and some get a, a decent wage. We would say, I mean, no one's getting rich, but mm -hmm. a decent wage. But this is less than minimum wage. What you're talking about? It's public service. Oh, I mean, it's I, public and that's service. A, it's a that's a decision that gets made at the local level. Yeah. Uh, by the by, the voters. Um, I, I I'm not lobbying for a salary increase for members of the legislature. Yeah, but, I'll give you another example. I think for a, a long period of time, the the mayor of Schenectady, which is a full time position, um, I think the mayor was the salary was was pretty skimpy at I don't know fifty five thousand or whatever it is, and uh, um, it was. Uh, uh, when Brian Stratton was mayor, that the consensus developed on the city council. They actually uh, increased the mayor's salary to somewhere in the neighborhood of ninety, I think, mm -hmm. which quite a big for job. a yeah. chief executive of a, uh, a corporation that's running about a seventy-five million dollar budget. Um, that's probably you know now not. The, uh, not the compensation you see on the private sector side, but certainly, right. <laughs> certainly more at, more more adequate. But sometimes you have the other side of the coin and accepted that you're a good man and you're altruistic and mm -hmm. you, you're doing it obviously not mm -hmm. to get rich, to say the very least. But on the other hand, sometimes they always say, "Well, there's not enough people running for office, so if maybe there would be a decent salary, you'd get a, more of a mix." I mean, I'll tell you who I would. I'll tell you who, Rabbi. I'll tell you who I'd provide. A salary to if I was um, if I was the king of the world. Okay, I would insist that school board members be paid. Yes, I think that is the most thankless service that that there is. Uh, I was one for three years. Mm -hmm. You put in many many more hours, um, and because there is is no stipend attached to it, uh, it can either a be very difficult to find people, or b be very difficult to find people who uh, can collaborate and work mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when you look at the amount of tax dollars in New York State uh, mm -hmm. that go into public education, it seems to me if you were going to take your argument that you should pay your elected representatives more in sync with, with the responsibility, that that's where you'd put the money. And you, the Schenectady government doesn't have a county executive like Albany County has. You have a county manager, we have a county administrator. Ex, we have a county administrator mm. form of government. The right. administrator and is uh, Kathleen Rooney. Yes. Yep. So 
how much, now she's hired by the county legislature? Correct. So how much of a work, of a positive working relationship is there, or does she feel comfortable bucking up against the county legislature, even though you're paying, you know, you've hired her, you could fire her? And I think there's some give and take there, which I think is healthy. Um, and I think that there's, you know, the, to, it's the legislature's role to set policy and it's the manager's role to implement it. Uh, and most of the time that's what happens. And occasionally there'll, there'll be a, a little um, back and forth in mm -hmm. terms of resources and, you know. But she's not fearing for her job every oh. time she comes up against them. No. No. How many, Repu there's only like two Republicans on the we county legislature? Have Two Republican members. And there are more conservatives, like three Republic, three conservative Correct. members. And two Republicans. This is weird because you would think, you know, especially when you see Schenectady County was really dominated mm -hmm. at one point by Republicans. Mm -hmm. You've really turned that whole ship around politically. Some of that, I think, is the same thing that you see in other parts of the state. The state is, is, well, is growing County. a little bluer. Um, <laughs> It's Albany, obviously, is, uh, has, has a long, long Democratic tradition. Yes. Um, Schenectady, for many, many years, had a very uh, strong and robust uh, Republican structure. And um, if you talk to different, uh, different folks, they'll give you different interpretations of what happened. But I think that there is a, um, if you look around, so if the uh, I think there's a, uh, how do I want to put this? I think there's a sort of a life cycle to any organization. Uh -huh. And okay. uh, I think you have to do certain things in the course of that life cycle to ensure that you're perpetuating it. And I think sometimes it, it happens that those things don't happen and infighting right. develops and people can't resolve their right, issues. Right. And before you know it, um, you're more concerned with what's the small p politics that are happening in your organization than you mm -hmm. are the large p politics right. that uh, you know is all about leadership. And when those kinds of things happen, you lose momentum. And I think okay, so I that's it. my personal. So, take so I have on to ask you here. this question: Why is the if you have three Repu three conservatives and mm -hmm. two Republicans, mm -hmm. why isn't one of the conservatives the minority leader? Why is it a Republican as minority leader if you have more conservatives than Republicans? Prerogative of the uh, majority to determine who the... Well, that's why I'm asking you. You're the majority leader. Well, it would be a, <laughs> first it would be a, a collective decision of the, of the, of the group. And um, secondly, um, there is a sort of a collaborative relationship. Several of those conservatives were cross-endorsed by the Democrats. Yes. So... Even more yes. reason why you yeah. should reward them so, with being a minority leader. So, but uh, <laughs> that would be interesting. I mean, because yeah, I would never have heard that a uh, minor party line would be a minority well, leader. There's a, but, you know, I mean, there's and there's a tradition there. I mean, it's, uh, it's no, nothing is in law is no, is ensconced no, in law that says a Republican no, has no, to be. No, but it's. it's I know. think it's. I think it's connected to it's like many things. Um, there are um, uh, third parties. Uh, in fourth parties, fifth parties, minor minor parties um, uh, involved and active in campaigns, but each county has two election commissioners, and invariably one of those commissioners is Democrat, and one of them is a Republican. I, mean, I just think there's just some things that that are kind of formed <laughs> a, a traditionally like that. So well, I'm glad I asked you one. this. Yeah. Okay, well, maybe that's it's something you'll think about, and but, uh, <laughs> maybe want to look at. Um, what about the uh, county jail? Is yep. that a problem for Schenectady County in terms of the cost for the inmates? And um, one of the challenges that I think all counties have is uh, is meeting staffing requirements that come from the state. Um, we're we're compliant at mm -hmm. the moment. Um, there's a good working relationship uh, between the legislature and the sheriff, Sheriff D'Agostino. Um, we're sensitive to you know his particular needs because as a as a you know as an elected official himself, he has a responsibility to the people who elected him. How to. much does it cost the county to subsidize the county jail? Because I presume it's uh, losing money. It's a loss leader. Um, I, I'm going to back up and take a, a a little different approach to that question okay. if I can for a second because. Um, 
there are a number of services that counties are required to provide. Mm -hmm. um, there are some other services that counties choose to provide. Uh, none of those services really makes money, okay. or very few of them, mm -hmm. all right. Uh, easily two-thirds of our budget uh, is consumed in state mandates. And they're for good things. Okay. They're for public assistance. They're for uh, health care for the indigent. Medicaid. For, for things that, we, yeah, Medicaid. Things that we're not, they're not bad. They're just the way we pay right. for them in New York is we, is we place a fair amount of that cost uh, on, on counties. Of the piece that's left over, that is discretionary funding, if you will, uh, you certainly have to have a jail. You, we choose to have a countywide library system, uh, which is, mm -hmm. I think, a very wise thing to do because there's, uh, it was sort of the original intergovernmental cooperation initiative mm -hmm. way back in the 1960s. When and you have a born. very good director we there. Have, we have good sure. people. Um, we, I think we use the resources well. We're about to uh, break ground on a new uh, inner city branch of the library. Yes. Um, so I don't tend to look at losing money on the jail. Are we spending the appropriate amount of money there to meet the requirements? And, and are we, you know, is it, is it a well-run institution? Well, it's, those answers, I think. It says here yes. that it costs the local taxpayers $23 million in 2013. Sounds about right. To run the county jail. Sounds about right. Okay. And you're saying that's not a problem, I mean, do you have a budget deficit in Schenectady County budget, or do you, are you run, like Albany County runs a deficit, do you run a deficit? Um, what typically happens in Schenectady is we will appropriate um, some fund balance uh, each year. There's some fund balance appropriated in, in like the budget. Like a rainy day fund? You mean? Uh, yeah, I mean, we run, a, we run a surplus of about 30, 30, 31 million dollars, oh. okay, is our fund balance. We typically appropriate some of that fund balance to mitigate against um, tax increases. Um, but then over the course of the year, we usually don't expend anywhere near the amount of fund balance that we, mm -hmm. that we, uh, that we appropriate. It, and that, a lot of that has to do with good management, I think. We're, should it go back to the people? Um, I think it's good to have uh, some money in a rainy day fund. On a $300 million budget, $30 million is not a whole lot. Um, I think that that's good to, uh, okay. to... It's a good cushion. It's a cushion. Uh -huh. You know, things can happen. Things, oh, yeah. Things can happen. Snow removal. Um, <laughs> you know, it might be... We one. had an instance with um, a large um, taxpayer in Schenectady County a few years ago who um, uh, inadvertently and inappropriately uh, paid sales tax on on something they shouldn't have paid sales tax on, and when that happens, the state comes back and, <laughs> and takes the money. Uh, minus that surplus, we would have had a, a pretty serious problem mm -hmm. for ourselves for a while. But that's so. It's for those kinds of contingencies. But um, no, the budget is the budget balances. Okay, the budget balances. Okay, so let me ask you about the community college, Schenectady County mm -hmm. Community College. Mm -hmm. You have an interim president now. You're, yeah. you're on the Board of Trustees. I am, by virtue of... Oops, oh, of I just, your position. I just bumped into your no, microphone there, and I apologize. Just on the virtue By virtue of, your of being a member of the legislature, the, um, okay. uh, trustees are a blend of gubernatorial appointments right. and county appointments, and of the county appointments, the college um, bylaws uh, stipulate that one member of the sponsoring organization, which in our case is Schenectady County, uh, okay. has to be a... Fun and games over there? Is it good? Is it I, I really enjoy it. Yeah. Um, I, I said earlier that uh, I kind of got into public service through uh, via a school board. Right. Um, and I said it was a lot of work. I didn't say I didn't enjoy it. I know. Um, and I find it, uh, um, I find it very enjoyable. And I also see it as interconnected with the economic development and planning stuff. Right. Because community colleges are where. <clears throat> Workforce development takes mm -hmm, place. Mm -hmm. They're the they're the places that. Uh, um, if I could know. ask you one thing before the because we're running out a little bit out of time, but uh -huh. is that maybe you can Im impress upon the culinary school at Schenectady County Community College, which is really like top notch, mm -hmm. to have a kosher program, kosher food preparation program, 
because CIA, Culinary Institute, mm -hmm. doesn't do it and they have no desire to. I'd be happy to carry that back. You know, I'm very and serious. Uh, the previous president, uh -huh. you know, I was talking to him. He thought it was a wonderful idea, yeah. and then he left. Yeah. So now they got this woman there. I forgot her name. But uh, um, uh, acting President Aslan. Yes. Um, that's. I'd be happy to take that right to uh, right to to uh, Dean Bro, Chef Bro, who, who okay. runs that program. I think that's a fabulous idea. Good. Okay. And I will champion that for you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I don't know how much, I mean, I certainly understand the differences. I don't know how much of that becomes an educational issue, but I would, I would champion We that. have the talent here who can help yep. put the program together. I would champion together. that. Okay. Uh, so now you opened up an Albany branch of Schenectady County yes, Community we did. College. And how's that going? Is that it's 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 going. The growth is slow, uh -huh. but that's understandable in my mind. I think people need to learn that it's there. Uh, I think this the success in that program will come from getting right into the into the um, the grassroots uh, of Albany and networking it that way. I think that's how it's going to how it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. well, I see the um, advertising for it. Yeah, I, yeah. And, I'm, and and advertising is good. I, I'm, I believe in advertising. Uh, but I think it's going to come more word, word of mouth. I think mm -hmm. it's going to come out of the faith community. Uh, I think it's going to come from different places. So as people learn that they have this right. educational opportunity right in their midst rather than uh, the trip to Troy or the trip to Schenectady. Um, right. I think they'll find it. It's right it. here in the Albany it's County here. Office Building. It's right in the County <laughs> Office Building. <laughs> Do you, Sixth floor, I think. And what is the, um, the types of courses that are taught? Uh, um, we we do pretty much entry level, um, sort of the the kind of gut level one uh, on ones um, for uh, several programs. We're, we have uh, in addition to that, we do our, our certified nurse um, assistant CNA program, uh, which is a great uh, another one of those ladder jobs mm -hmm. into healthcare. Um, and we have a nice relationship with CDTA so that the courses that you need at the Schenectady campus, mm -hmm. uh, you get a swipe card as a student, and the Bus Plus has you uh, in front of Schenectady County uh, <laughs> main campus uh, or our Center City campus in 25, yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. So people are discovering that that's a, a great way to You don't have to worry about parking. Around, then you don't, have, <laughs> you don't have a parking problem. So we're optimistic that it's that it's going to continue to make strides. So it's, how do you split? Do you, is there a split where Albany County gets some of the revenue from those students who attend in Albany County, or is there something? No, but they also don't pay the chargebacks. So that's explain to the audience the, the chargeback. Oh dear, we don't have enough well, time to explain this. So we got if two you minutes. have, if you two minutes, two minutes. Um, if in a county. Uh, that does not have a community college, if, if residents uh, attend a community college, that community college can charge um, the, the county, the county. host county. Uh, a fee. Mm -hmm. uh, our fee at Schenectady is significantly lower than other schools, so there's a savings to Albany County in terms of, of the, the lower chargeback fee. So that's, that's how it works. And then they're saving that. They don't have to pay Albany County. Doesn't have they to don't pay have to pay as county, much, as much to Albany still... County as they would say to... Okay. Um, the, the charge back at Hudson Valley is higher. It's yeah. just the way it's calculated to, based okay. on their budget and our budget. And, and then So I there's guess, a savings there to the county. I guess some of the economic part of it for Albany County is that you've got people in downtown mm -hmm. after work hours yeah. who are also going to you know, buy things in the stores downtown if they are well, open you, after five. You have county <laughs> residents who are advancing themselves with an education. Yes. And there's a long-term payoff to that, and I'm, I'm, I mean that sincerely. People so. don't sneer at a community college associate's degree anymore? No. And so many, um, so many of them have linkages into uh, um, bachelor's programs. Mm -hmm. uh, so much of what uh, you learn in a community college maybe is, is more career focused. And it could be transferred to a university center sure. or a college. And, or... And, and Mark, the, um, the, the growth in employment in New York State over the next 20 years is going to be in what are known as middle skill jobs. Okay. You need more than high school. You don't need a four-year degree. You need specific 
uh, technical skills, perhaps, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's really the sweet spot for community college. Kind of like broadcasting when we started. Okay, kind of like we went that, full circle. Yeah, okay. there we go. All right, thank you. All right, very good, Gary. That, thank you. Uh, thank you for being on the Jewish View. You're doing good work on Schenectady and continue with what you're doing and doing with good health. And thank much you. Thank you, Rabbi. You, Gary. Much and we'll, uh, we'll we'll get that uh, program in the, in the great culinary arts. Thank school. you.